Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you a really simple job, but some people tend to mess this one up um, simply because they don't know how the, the assembly goes together, but we're going to change a uh, headlight bulb on a Ford Territory. So the first thing you want to do, we'll, we'll, we'll do the left hand side today, the right hand side's very similar, the only difference is on the left hand side you've got your air cleaner box. And on the right hand side you've got your battery now normally I wouldn't take the battery out to do the job and you don't really need to take anything out to be honest but I like to take this out just to make it easier so you've got four clips on each corner of the or you've got a clip on each corner of the box so I just take the clips off the one down here and I just sit this up out of the way just like that and the next thing you want to do is your, your plug socket here right on, the, right on the side here so on the left hand side of the plug socket there's a little there's a little tab what you want to do is you want to squeeze that tab in and pull it out it's this little tab here so don't just reef on this and think it's going to come off it won't this little clip will hold it in there and if you do happen to like force it and pull it off what you'll end up doing is there's a ring that's located on the back of the headlight bucket and you'll end up that's a locating ring and you'll end up pulling that off the body of the the light I've seen it done before uh, simply because people didn't know that there was a little a little tab on the side of this plug okay so once that's off there's a boot here this boot will just come off like that people sometimes to also forget to put that back on and then here you've got a spring clip that basically straddles the headlight globe so what you want to do is on the right hand side you want to push this clip or this uh, retainer in and push it down and it should clear the little tabs that it sits in now be very careful um, you don't want to drop your headlight globe down in there not that it's if you're changing it it's probably blown anyway so but you don't want to have to go fishing for it and then just take your globe out and that's that's it now when you put it back in one thing to remember is the middle terminal the top terminal you want that face in the, the top obviously and if you get that orientated right, this clip has to go back over it, push it to the bottom, get around the little tab that's down the bottom here, and, and push up. Okay, I've got the clip back on down here on the bottom. There is one up the top here, so I don't think it really matters which way you go. I don't think both sides are supposed to go into that. Um, it just seems like it would be a bit of a stretch to try and clip it into both and I only took it out of the the bottom one so I'll put it back the way I found it so that's all in now so the next thing you want to do is uh, grab your rubber boot and push that over the housing make sure that your three make sure that your three um, terminals on the back of that light uh, globe come through so you might just have to play with it a little bit to get it to come in or come through I should say it's a little little fiddly but you'll get there so I think I've got it now let's have a look here yep so there we go got the three terminals through and then all you need to do is plug your socket back in Okay, and that should be it. Okay, so we got a we got a headlight working now, which is good. Okay, and then all you're left with is uh, to put your air cleaner back in place. There is a right way and a wrong way to do this. On most of the filters, you'll find that you've got these two raised pads here. And if you flip it over, they're sunken in. So you want the, the raised ones to be at the top. Otherwise you'll have trouble trying to clip 
inspecting. Okay, and then the clips should just go back on. Sometimes they will give you a little bit of grief if you don't have it completely squared up. But, like this one here, so I'm going to put the camera down for a second. And there we go, all four back on, um, and headlights running. So yes, it was just a simple tutorial today, but um, you know, if it saves you from breaking your headlight, it's all worth it. So the driver's side one, it's exactly the same. You're sort of limited for room here, sort of depends how big your hands are. You may want to opt to take your battery out. I don't think you need to. It's not a, um, you should be able to change it from here. It's just going to be a little bit fiddly and a little bit tight. So get the missus's delicate hands in there to get that out for you. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers.